guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. So, in our little saga that we're doing about uh, left handed crash courses on firearms, today we're going to be doing the AK M, AK 47, AK 74, whatever AK you got, that's what we're talking about right here. Um, so, my previous AR 15 one got a pretty good amount of uh, views, good, good response mainly from just kind of the subscribers, which I kind of mainly care about. Because um, obviously left-handers are definitely kind of minority and stuff like that, so I'm not expecting it to be uh, wildly popular. But I do want it to be uh, beneficial to the people that want uh, those videos for that reason. So anyway, let's get right into it. So AKs, I think everybody should know at least the basic way to operate an AK. Like I said, if you need to go show up your friend at a range or if shit hits the fan completely and there's a bunch of guns lying around for whatever reason there is, and you find one of these bad boys, and you can pick it up, you can run the thing adequately. And uh, one thing as well, this is not how to shoot, right? Um, this is how to operate a gun. Anybody can shoot a gun, right? This is why you hear, you know, four-year-olds shooting themselves or their brothers or their parents with the parent's gun and stuff like that. It's, it, it, it doesn't take a whole lot to actually do this, right? Um, it does take quite a lot to operate a gun like this to load it to make sure you have sight acquisition pressing the trigger managing you know all kinds of stupid shit like that right i mean getting a sight picture and then doing this is not very hard so anyway first and foremost that's what i wanted to get off so all right so what we're going to do is kind of the similar thing what we did we're going to go basics kind of stuff i mean I, i'm assuming you know how to shoot a gun right so we're going to go down um kind of the basic stuff uh first and foremost for left hander so the first thing uh, kind of once again is kind of how to hold it. Uh, for people who do not know, this charging handle will reciprocate every time you shoot. So it's a very good reason not to put your hand again really aggressive because you can't really cause a malfunction issue by blocking this because this thing kicks shells to, to Jesus himself. You know, this thing will just like kind of eject it up and forward a little bit. It's kind of impressive how powerful the ejection is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this charging handle will reciprocate. You can't really go super aggressive on it anyway, but just be aware that, um, yeah, the thing's gonna do that. So if you're into this kind of thing, uh, definitely do not put your thumb up there because if you do it, you only do it once. All right, so, and then we'll get into operating the safety because that's gonna kind of come into a little bit of an issue there. Um, so, but yeah, so make sure this thing is gonna reciprocate. In terms of holding the weapon, obviously you kind of want to bent elbow again just to kind of uh, reinstitute that kind of muscle memory sort of thing where every time I kind of get my shoulder in there I just have a nice bent thing this is very comfortable and I can kind of hold the weapon as these guns are very front heavy with all the piss and all the weight up here um, so that's what I would kind of do you cannot clamp this thing because most AKs that I've ever seen are just standard iron sights you will block your sight picture like this so you cannot hold it like that for obvious reasons um, and be very careful where you put your hand. The retaining plate here on the handguard gets extremely fucking hot. Uh, the gas block right here, the sight block, whatever you want to call this thing right here, that gets extremely hot. This whole thing gets hot. So that's why, in my opinion, just kind of cradle the thing in your hand like this with a very loose grip. Um, the thing will recoil a little bit. It'll kind of rock in your shoulder, give you a push, but it's not really going to jump a whole lot unless you're really sending rounds down range. Um, that's basically kind of how to hold it. And if you do everything like that, you should be good. You shouldn't get hit by the charging handle and you should not be uh, burned and all that um, if you don't happen to have gloves. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into the more beefier stuff. Okay, so the weird thing about the safety on the AK, unlike the AR, which kind of gives you a little bit of feedback, no matter what uh, fire position or the hammer is in, this thing is going to um, operate uh, regardless. Kind of a nice thing. Uh, one thing though is that in order to charge the weapon, the safety needs to be off. So that means we're gonna have to talk about kind of where I put our finger. Uh, most AKs that I've seen, at least kind of manufactured here, do have rails uh, for left-handers. That's where I like to put my finger. It's a little maybe uncomfortable when you first kind of do it, but um, after you're doing a little while, this is just a really, really awesome reference point for me. Because then we can talk about a little bit more in tactics about AKs, because maybe it's not applicable to put the safety on every single time, right? Um, so that's something we may run into. We're just running with the safety off and just keeping our finger high and away just like we do with the Glock because these triggers are definitely kind of the Glock feeling. They're kind of mushy and then kind of hit the wall and you kind of hit the brake. So, you know, um, and especially as long as you're not running a rig and you don't have a sling on it, so it's not going to be hanging like this. There really is no issue there with running the safety off. 
Um, now, if you're running kit and you have a sling on and this thing is dangling here on your stuff, you can easily discharge that gun, which I had seen. There, are, there is videos of it and stuff like that. So, um, just be aware um, of that. So now, how we're going to operate the safety is kind of uh, kind of two ways I like to do it. If we're kind of a low ready, um, you can kind of keep your hand on a magazine uh, kind of grab like this, kind of like your old school AR-15 people that you used to watch, um, and then swipe it down. When we swipe it down, <laughs> we want to tuck our thumb underneath the under <clears throat> excuse me underneath the receiver. It's a little uncomfortable, but so is getting hit by the fucking charge hammer, right? So what I like to do is kind of keep my hand like this, or I can keep it up, it, depending on however you want to run it. And then when I have to put the sights on target, I can uh, swipe it down either way. Let me make sure you can see that. So if I'm coming up on target, I can swipe it down, get my hand in there and do that. Or if I'm going high ready, swipe it down and get it like that. Um, pretty simple shit. Now, if you want to have uh, your hand on a hand guard, there's really no way of doing this. I can, you can kind of get away with something like this kind of technique, which does work if you're kind of doing like a shot timer type thing, where I can swipe it off and then push the gun out, and at the same time just get a nice grip on the hand guard. It works well for me. Um, it, it's just kind of a personal preference. You're gonna kind of have to dink with it a little bit. Um, you know, even if you do the magazine grab, which actually is pretty comfortable. Um, you can start here, then obviously move here. You know, nobody says you can't do that, it's, or it's against rules or anything uh, silly like that. So if you want to do that, by all means, choose whatever you want. Uh, they both work well. Now, one thing that people of any handedness will fuck with, uh, fuck up, excuse me, a couple times is the uh, exerting the magazine. Now, there are a couple ways of doing it. My personal favorite is to... Um, if you notice the magazine here, we have the front lip of the magazine and we have this little uh, rivet right here. See where my finger is right here. If you can kind of see it, it might be a little bit dark. Um, and basically what I imagine is there is an actual bar going through the receiver like that. So from my position, I'm imagining there's a bar kind of like this. And technically there would be, right? Because there's, <clears throat> there's another rivet over here. So I re imagine there's a bar this is a kind of the end of the bar going through the receiver. So what I look for is my first, this is kind of my hook that I want to hook the, uh, on the bar. If that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is angle it such so I can get my visual and then hook it in. Uh, some people will tell you to go knuckles to the receiver and do that. Um, that works too. I think it's a little bit excessive of a articulation in the wrist to do it. Um, the way I found that's really easy is just again, Visualizing a bar going right here trying to hook this onto it and from usually from your kind of your standard I got my gun in my high ready or kind of my workspace kind of area My my eyes angle on this thing is really is really easy. So once I find that magazine well You know, I mean I can get it pretty much every time. I mean everybody will fuck it up um, Whatever so don't feel bad uh, most of the times what you're gonna get is kind of a miss so you're gonna miss this front hook and you're gonna basically do something like like that, watch I see a whole bunch. So you got your magazine here kind of resting off. It's hooked in in the back, but not in the front. So this thing can wiggle free. And you know, that's kind of a pain in the ass. And yeah, you, you will fuck that up many times. So uh, practice makes perfect on that, but once you get it, you got it. Okay, so now we're gonna actually talk about the fun stuff, we're actually running the gun. So uh, we're gonna talk about, obviously we really don't have a lot of stuff on the AK, which is kind of nice, um, you know, for simplicity purposes, but um, so now we're going to be talking about a couple things we want to learn is speed reload, emergency reload. So we go bang, 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 click. We have a dead trigger. We have our hammer forward. And now we have an empty round. AKs will not lock back unless you have this specific follower in your magazine. I don't have any of those magazines personally. Just so, you know, whatever. So you're just going to have to kind of get used to uh, having a click with your bolt forward. Like you had a really, uh, like a bad primer or something like that. Just some type of failure to fire. So... Um, obviously for real quick for an emergency immediate action drill or whatever for uh, AKs there is no slap the magazine charge it uh, we just charge the thing nice thing about left-handed again is that when I'm here I all I have to do is take my face off maybe pivot a little bit up a little bit so I can look in see if there's anything sticking out of the thing nope it's closed so maybe I can roll it over roll it over tuck it underneath my arm here and then just charge it like this uh, the reason why I turn it over is so I have gravity, right? Help me out. So if I charge it like that and nothing falls out, you know, maybe I have another round of there or maybe I'm empty. It depends. So whatever you want to do, if you want to do, uh, 
once you get kind of used to shooting an AK and you go, okay, this is probably like 20 rounds I'm on, and they go bang, 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 click, I'm probably empty. So for speed reload, <clears throat> there are a couple ways of reloading the AK. Um, uh, I, I don't really know how to refer to them. Um, basically, we're either going to strip the old magazine out, get a new one, and rock that in, and then charge the weapon, or we are going to, I don't want to bang this on my floor, um, we're going to take new magazine, kick the old one out, and then rock it in. Um, you may have heard that as an Iraqi reload or wh whatever they call that uh, style of reloading. Um, so those are the basically the two main methods. So I'm either going to bang, 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 click. I'm going to strip the magazine, get a new one, rack it in, charge it. Or, I'm, again, I'm just going to take new magazine, uh, hit it out, and then... Uh, but a new one, so it's up to you. Um, personally, most of the time, if you have spare ammunition, you're probably just going to strip this thing out and rock in a new one and then charge it. Um, but obviously, if you're doing like Instagram things and stuff like that, you're probably going to kick it out. Now, a couple ways, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple ways to kick it out is actually using the magazine body itself or using the thumb. Uh, one thing as well I forgot to mention about AKs. Um, they can be a little sharp, so um, especially around the dust cover area. Um, safeties are a little bit sharp. This area right here around the dust cover is a little bit sharp. Also, when you're charging the weapon, make sure you're, you're using either the finger or you're using kind of the pinky. The charge don't do any goddamn hand thing because your hand meat will get cut up by this shit. Ask me how I know. Um, so no fancy way of charging the weapon and just be careful of kind of the sharpness. So and the reason why I say that because I don't care how tough your skin is on your hands doing a whole bunch of reloads where you're knocking out your magazine with your thumb is going to get sore after a while so uh, just be kind of aware with it uh, or you know obviously you can put on gloves but I ain't so bitch <clears throat> so uh, it's going to depend here um, there, there is really no real benefit of either one just basically speed I will say though if you're going to rock your magazine out with the new one. Um, I like bullets outboard, so like this. Um, I've seen it, especially with new people. Uh, they tend to get a little bit kind of slice it, like slashes with their, uh, is that a word? They try to slash it with their magazine a little bit. And what happens is as they're coming up, pushing it out, sometimes they kind of draw it back. And what can happen is the uh, magazine release tab actually will get caught on a round pull that bitch up and kind of jank up your rounds in your magazine. Now you can't really seat your magazine very well until you get that round up. Um, so that's why I kind of like to put my magazine outboard so then there's no way my magazine uh, can fuck up uh, my uh, my rounds in my magazine. My magazine tab can't fuck up my rounds in my magazine. There we go. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's just basically speed. Um, there's really no huge difference of anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, in terms of uh, tack reloading again, um, it's going to be personal preference. You know, I mean, it's it, do I want to manage my ammo? Probably a good idea. When you want to do it, it's up to you. I'm not going to go into the tactics of when you're going to want to be doing that. Um, but, so let's say I have, you know, I bang, 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 bang. Okay, now I want to reload my gun. Probably a good idea. Throw the safety on or not, depending on what tactics you want to use. It's up to you. Um, I can either do, again, the strip, get new mags. Honestly, that's easy. I mean, I would rather have simplicity and repeatability over speed any day because if you try to be fast and fuck up in a fight, well, then you're fucked, all right? So that's just kind of my opinion. So, um, Or if you want to be fancy and you want to be a little bit faster, uh, you can do that technique. Kind of the same way of the kind of the vertical offset push-pull thing with the AR. And then rock in the new one, drag out the old one, and that's kind of how you do it. Now, one thing to be cognizant about that, because we are left-handed and we are cursed by the world, is with that safety. So, when you're doing attack reload, be careful that you come kind of straight at the gun, right? You do not, you do not want to be doing any type of this shit. As you can see there, I just put my safety on, right? So, either put the safety on before, or... Make sure you come at the gun that way, hit the tab, rock in the new one, and do that. Now, for people with smaller hands or maybe just not enough 
upper body strength or whatever. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with stripping the magazine out and getting a new one and then doing that. I mean, that's very repeatable. That's very easy to do. So it's kind of a uh, personal preference at the end of the day, as with everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it uh, with the AK. I'm not going to demonstrate, like I said, uh, any of the speed reloads and stuff like that because I don't want to injure my floor. Um, I probably will do a video of me kind of showing off maybe a little bit later, but um, at one point I was pretty goddamn good at doing that reload. And it is a very, AKs are just fun guns to shoot and fun guns to run. Um, they require a little bit different of techniques, but it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, once you get that kind of motor skill function in there, locking the thing and charging, it's, it's pretty fun to shoot. Um, malfunctions, like I said, um, basically most of the clearances are just going to be charged to handle because there is no bolt hold open. I don't have to strip the magazine. I'm basically just going to uh, charge the uh, weapon anytime I get a failure there. Now, there is some crazy malfunctions that the AKs can get, and they do go down hard. Um, you know, sometimes, basically, you're going to have to take the gun apart. I can't show you because YouTube's fucking retarded about building a gun and taking a gun apart. Can't do it anymore, so whatever. Um, basically, sometimes you can get around a spent round casing up above or inside the piston area and stuff like that. Basically, what you got to do, if, if you have to, is basically put the gun on the ground and hit the charging handle, right? So you're either going to, it's called mortaring it or something like that. Make sure to put the gun away from your face and then kind of kickstart it. Um, or no, excuse me, yeah, mortaring it was with the AR. Kickstarting is with the uh, the AK like that. Um, if, if that doesn't work or you have some really fucked up malfunction, you're going to have to take the thing apart. So you're just going to hit the dust cover button right here. Pop the thing off. You got a recoil spring. You take that fucker out and pull your recoil shit all out. Get that magazine or get that round out. Put everything back together. Um, basically. Or maybe just popping over the dust cover. You can actually get it out. It's going to depend, right? So, but again, YouTube is retarded, so I can't show you how to do it. Um, but anyway, hopefully this helped people out that wanted to learn this. Um, and if you don't have an AK and you live in America, get yourself an AK. They're fun guns to shoot. They're really cheap to shoot. Um, these things eat pretty much everything. They are the Glocks of the rifle world. Um, you know, you can feed them really shitty ammo. Their accuracy is not the greatest, but they're not inaccurate either, you know. And they're just uh, really fun, reliable guns to shoot that you can just kind of beat the shit out of and not really have to worry about uh, really babying or anything like that. So they're really fun guns. Recommend them. Recommend them to hell. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be good.